Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to insert or add data using PHP with Ajax and load inserted data into jQuery boot grid table. In previous tutorial we have already seen the PHP server side processing of jQuery boot grid plugin. For add new product first we have create add button by writing button tag with attribute type is equal to button and is equal to add button data toggle is equal modal, data target is equal to product modal and in button text we have write add text. Here data toggle attribute is used for direct action to modal and data target attribute is used for activate user modal. Now we want to create modal for insert item data by form. So first we have write division tag with attribute that is equal to user modal and class is equal to modal and fade. Under this division tag we have write division tag attribute class is equal to modal dialog, this class defined modal. Then after under this tag we have define form tag with attribute method is equal to post, it is equal to product form. After this we have write division tag with attribute class is equal to modal header. This class define header of modal and under this tag we have one close modal button and header tag with class is equal to modal title with text like add product. After defining header now we have write division tag with attribute class is equal to modal body. This class define body of modal. Under modal body we have define form element and first we have create select box with attribute name is equal to category id. It is equal to category id and in this select box we have write first option tag with attribute value is equal to blank with text like select category. Under this we want to load category from category table. So first we have go to top of the page and include database connection file connection.php. After this we have write dollar $Query variable is equal to select star from category table. This query will fetch category table data from table. Now we want to execute this query so we have write dollar $Result variable is equal to misclick query function with two argument like dollar $Connection variable which database connection string and dollar $Query variable. This function will execute query and store result under dollar $Result variable. After execute query we have create $1 output variable is equal to blank, in this variable we will store category table data in HTML format. Now we have write while loop with dollar $row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar $Result variable, this function will convert query result to array format and store into dollar $Row variable. Under this loop we have write dollar $Output variable and in this variable we have append option tag with attribute value is equal to dollar $Row category id variable and in option text we have write dollar $Category name variable. This way we have store category data and dollar $Output variable, so we have go modal code and under select tag we have simply write echo statement with dollar $Output variable. This will fill select box with category table data. After defining category select box now we have text box for enter product name, so we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to product name it is equal to product. For entering product price we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to product price it is equal to product price. After defining modal body content now we have write division tag with attribute class is equal to modal footer, this will define footer content of modal. 
Under this we have write input type is equal to hidden with attribute name is equal to product it and it is equal to product it. Under this tag we will store product it at the time of edit or update of data. Below this we have again write input type is equal to hidden field with attribute name is equal to operation and it equal to operation. In this tag we will store operation like add data or read data. And lastly we have the find form submit button. So we have write input type is equal to submit with attribute name is equal to action it is equal to action and value is equal add. So when we have click on this button then form data will be submitted to server. Now we have moved to write query code for insert data. Here when form will be submitted then data will be inserted. So we have write dollar with document as selector with on method and under this method we have write submit event with form id product formed with function with event. So when form submit then this code will execute. Under this code first we have write event dot prevent default method. This method will stop to submit form data. After this we have write variable category it is equal to dollar select box id category id with value method. This method will get the value of category select box and store into this variable. Same way we have write product name variable is equal to dollar with id product name with value method. It will get value product name text box and store into product name variable. Now we have write product price variable is equal to dollar with id product price with value method. It will get the value of product price text box and store into this product price variable. Lastly we have define form data variable is equal to dollar this serialized method. This method will create a URL encoded text string by serializing form values. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write category a variable value is not equal to blank and product name variable value is not equal to blank and product price variable value is not equal to blank. This condition will check if all variable has some value then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose if there is one of the value is blank then it will execute else block of code and under this we have write alert message like all fields are required. But suppose all variable has some value then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write ajax request and under this we have write first option url set to insert.php page. Here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method set to post. Here we have use post method for sending data to server. In third option we have write data option. In this option we can define which data we want to send to server. So we have write form data variable in this we have store serialize form URL. In last option we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request successfully send and it will receive data from server. Under this function first we have write alert and in message we have write data argument. So it will pop up message which it has been received from server. After this we want to reset form fields. So we have write dollar with form id product form with index 0 with reset method. This method will reset form fields. After resetting form field now we want to hide modal, so we have write dollar with modal id product modal with modal method and under this method we have write hide. This will hide modal. Lastly we want to reload boot grid table data, so we have write dollar with table id product data with boot grid method and under this method we have write reload. This code will reload boot grid data without refresh of web page. Now we have go to insert.php page and on this page we have first include database connection file so we have write include statement with connection.php file. This will make database connection. 
After this we have write if statement and under condition we have writes if function with dollar post operation variable. This condition will check if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post operation variable value is equal to add. This condition will check if this variable value is equal to add then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar category a variable is equal to miss clear real escape string function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar connection variable and in second argument we have write dollar post category a variable. This function will escape special character from this variable and store into category a variable. Same way we have escape special character from dollar post product name and dollar post product price variable and store into dollar product name and product price variable. After clear form fields value now we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into product table with table column like category id, product name and product price with values like dollar category id variable dollar product name variable and dollar product price variable. This is our simple insert query now we want to execute this query so we have write of statement with miscly query function with two argument like dollar connection variable and dollar query variable. If it successfully execute insert query then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write echo statement with message like product inserted. So our code is ready. So we have saved this code and check out what in browser. Friends you can see when page has been loaded then you can see category and product table data and root group table and above table we can see one add button. So we have click on this button then one modal has been pop on web page with product form. So we have directly click on submit button then it has pop up all fields are required. So we have select electronics and computer category. Under product name we have write Dell and Spiron laptop and in price field we have write 450 and click on add button. After clicking on add button you can see the product inserted message pop on web page and after clicking ok button then we can see last inserted data on boot grid table plugin here, that means our code is working. So this is our second part on jQuery boot grid tutorial and in this we have seen insert data operation. In next video we will see how to update data in jQuery boot grid plugin by using PHP and Ajax. If you like this video please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video with your friends. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching video.